Welcome everybody to this last episode of advanced excel series in this final episode we will learn how to find out the solution for this simple function uh, using Bayesian method and we will write all of those codes in VBA so let's get started without any further delay I have opened the developer tab I go to the visual basics I have an empty canvas here and I'll generate my codes here. First of all, I'll I'll create a function called bisection that doesn't take any arguments. And you do it by using the keyword sub because most of the times this uh, function created under this sub don't take any arguments. And as I will be using various variables in my code, I'll leave a line for them to be deemed later and deeming means uh, assigning the data type to those variables deem for now as I know that I will be running my code for 20 number of iterations and I will represent them by i so as i is a non uh, fractional integer I will deem it as a integer ok I will select a variable called a and it will ask the user to enter the low bound that means lower limit likewise it's not input it's input box so don't mess up with the command here you simply copy it and you again assign the final bound to a variable b now you are sure that you are running these iterations for 20 number of times so perform the loop using the for loop and it's always starts from 4 and ends with next tie and in between you are writing your quotes for each iterations as discussed earlier you need to calculate the mid value between a and b and that's a plus b by 2 and now you need to assign these values a b and mid to the function so let's create a function here i've named it as given because the expressions are already given to us and it's going to take an argument that is the value of h so and always remember that uh, after defining function the name of the uh, function is always the parameter always the variable that holds the output of this particular function I mean to say you need to assign the keyword given that is the name of the function here again to write the expression which is given to you that is x to the power 3 plus x minus 17 x power 3 plus x minus 17 now we call this function for three times initially for low value that is given and we signed as a as an argument and for the next time we call the function as f mid it's the same function so I copy here and paste here and here I have the variable name mid now I check by multiplying these two function here if those values are less than 0 then uh, I need to stick my lower bound as a and change the high bound as mid 
we perform that by using the if function if f of a times f of mid is less than zero then our value of b will be mid else our value of a will be mid now you may take some time to observe this what's happening here you can perform uh, this run this code on your laptop and check it on your own so that you can have a clear understanding of course now I need to end the end function I perform that by using and if code so now uh, what I am left finally is to output the value I perform that by using keyword message box msg message box and what it's going to message me is the value of x that has been obtained from the 20 round of iterations I may display it meaningfully by typing as value solution age and mm, I'll assign the value what has been obtained from this round of iterations that is a plus b by 2 that is the average of a and b okay now what I am left is to deem all those included variables I have already deemed i as an integer and now I will deem a as double because if you assign the data type as double then it's it will take the decimal values as well b as double and mid as again double so I'll simply copy it and paste it here and change it to a name of mid but it's in capital here so I change it accordingly uh, assign f and f mid as double again f a as double f v as double and I think this much so let's proofread our code for the final time we have created a function called solve and uh, it has all those variables deemed in this line we initially ask the user to input the low bound and again to input the high bound we perform 20 number of iterations and what what it's gonna do in each round of iteration that is that uh, first of all it will calculate the mid value that the user has defined from those boundary conditions and uh, in this particular code it will call the function called given which will take an argument called x and uh, for calculating the functional value at the point a we supply the argument a for calculating the functional value at the point mid we supply the argument called mid and we check if those values are less than zero then of course the uh, solution is going to reside in the lower section so we change the high bound as mid else the solution is going to reside on the uh, right section and we assign the value of a as mid and uh, finally we display the solution as the sum as an average of a and b so uh, first of all we try it uh, by pressing the effort and it has declared a kind of error says variable not defined that means we need to define f mid again because f mid has not been deemed here so let's type f mid here and run again f8 so 
you can see in the local window all of those variables values have been listed at zero for now and this local window you can bring it uh, here in, in the interface from insert from view and local windows here so this is the uh, brain of VBA because during uh, its run of iterations you will get to see what the values of variables have been assigned here I press an F8 and it asks me for the uh, value of low bound for this function I will input 0 as low bound I press OK I press F8 again it asks me for the value of high bound for this function I type the value of high bound as 4 here now you can see the value has been assigned 0 to A and 4 to B I press F8 it has entered into the iteration code and uh, it will now calculate the value of the mid if I press F8 then it's true yes the code works perfectly and it calls the function it has displayed the uh, value to the F mid and F8 simultaneously and it has checked whether those values mm, are less than 0 or not and it has performed the iterations for 20 number of times now I'm pretty sure that my equation my code runs perfectly so I now can directly press the play button here and must to a solution that is the value of x is 2.44 and now this has shown uh, a large number of units after the decimal if you want to format it then you can just um, write here format number format number two digits of two and you close the bracket and you press save and you can again run the value and input the initial bound of zero final 2.44 okay so this is how you perform your lines of codes in VBA and I hope you guys have really enjoyed my series to see you guys again